Namaste. Yoga is the science of the self. Above all, practice kindness and generosity to all beings, and then you will find success in the physical practices. In this sequence, we'll focus on the liver and gallbladder meridians. These relate to the sides of the body and the inner thighs, as well as the solar plexus. The solar plexus is where the diaphragm muscle of the breath moves up and down. Um, the diaphragm muscle is not only moving the breath, it's moving the emotions and the energy in the whole body. So the liver and the gallbladder relate to the flow of emotions. When the emotions are intense, or when they are blocked, the first place that tenses up is the solar plexus, and also the sides of the body. Most of the muscle tension related to stress is along this pathway. Let's look at the meridians before we begin the sequence. The gallbladder meridian starts in the fourth toe and goes up by the ankle bone along the side here in the peroneal muscles and up the side of the thigh here, which is where the IT band or the lateral quadriceps is, and then passes through the side of the hip in these very short um, lateral stabilizer muscles, gluteus minimus, TFL, gluteus medius. And then it continues up and through the waist, the oblique muscles, the side intercostals, serratus anterior, and then it goes up over the top of the shoulder, upper trapezius, and then around the ear to the outer corner of the eyebrow. The liver meridian, which is the yin counterpart, starts on the top of the foot here, on the lateral aspect of the big toe. It goes up the inner ankle along the shin bone to the inner knee, through the large adductor muscles of the thigh. It passes and wraps around the genitals and uterus, and then it goes up the abdomen to the front of the rib cage, where on the right side is the liver itself. The liver is the largest organ, and it's physically attached to the diaphragm muscle. Anything that affects the liver will affect the diaphragm and the breath. The gallbladder organ is situated underneath, tucked under the liver organ, and it's a much smaller organ. Let's begin the sequence now. Come to stand at the front of your mat. We'll begin just by warming up the body and the breath. Surya Namaskar, the sun salutation. Moving with the breath. Inhale, reach your arms up, move up. Now exhale, fold forward. Release your head. Step your right foot back, arch your back, look up, inhale. Now step your left foot back and lower knees chest and chin to the floor. Inhale, push your pubic bone down and arch back, look up. Exhale, push back into an easy downward facing dog. Now step your right foot forward, inhale, arch your back, look up. Step your left foot forward, exhale, release your head. Inhale, reach all the way up and back. Now hold direct. Left foot, inhale, arch your back, look up. Step your right foot back, lower knees, chest, and chin. Inhale, squeeze your chest up. Exhale, push back, downward facing dog. Left foot forward, arch your back, look up. Inhale, exhale, right foot forward, release your head down. Inhale, reach all the way up and back. Now, hold it again. Let's move a little 
left right foot arch, left foot, knees, chest, chin to the floor, inhale, cobra, squeeze your back, exhale, downward facing dog, right foot forward, arch your back, inhale, left foot, release your head, exhale, inhale, reach up and back. Exhale, hold again. Inhale, left foot, look up. Right foot, lower knees, chest, chin. Exhale. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left foot forward, inhale, arch, look up. Right foot, exhale, release your head. Inhale, reach all the way up. Hold two more. Right foot, inhale. Left foot, exhale down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale back. Inhale, right foot, arch. Left foot, fold. Inhale, up and Exhale, fold. Last one. Left foot inhale, right foot, exhale, lower down, inhale, cobra, exhale, back, inhale, left, right, exhale, release your head, inhale, reach up and back, now release, exhale, stand. Allow the breath to return to normal. Next, we'll stretch the sides. Cross your right foot over your left foot so that your knees are crossed. And then shift your hips out to the left. Put your hand on your hip. Now raise your left arm. Stretch up and over. So you can stretch the whole left side of your body from your ankle through your hip your waist, your armpit, and even let your head relax down so that you stretch the side of your neck a little bit. Stay here to breathe. Keep lengthening the whole side of the body. It's important in these postures to watch the inhale and the exhale. Make sure you exhale completely to release the solar plexus. Now come up. Now cross your left foot over the right so your knees are crossed, left on top of right. Raise your right arm and lean over to the left side. Push your hips to the right so you're stretching the entire right side of your body. Keep reaching the right side longer. Let your head hang a little bit so you stretch the right side of your neck. Keep breathing, watching the inhale and the exhale. As you exhale, the solar plexus relaxes upward. We'll come back to this concept again throughout the sequence. Now release. Step out to the side, wide feet. And then turn your right toes out, left toes in. Warrior two. You're going to open your hips to the side and extend your arms wide. You want to have your hips as wide as possible and your right knee on top of your right ankle. Relax your shoulders all the way down. Squeeze the pelvic floor. Now, Ardha Chandrasana or half moon posture. You're going to balance on your right foot and bring your hand to the floor. You can put your fingertips on the floor or use a block under your hand and open to the side. Try to stack your left hip on top of the right. Stay here and breathe. Now we're going to twist to the right. So if you're using a block, you can shift it over and place your left hand on the block. Keep your leg up, but drop your left hip down a little bit 
and try to open to the side again. You don't have to work too hard in these postures. Make sure the breath is even and smooth and the concentration is clear. Now release and return into the warrior two posture and then switch to the other side. Turn your left toes out and right toes in. Bend your left knee and have your hips open wide here. Your left knee on top of your ankle. Stretch your arms wide apart and make sure your shoulders are relaxed down away from your ears. Squeeze the pelvic floor. Ardha Chandrasana, balancing on your left foot. Bring your left fingertips to the floor or to a block and open to the side. Try to stack your right hip on top of the left so that you're opening the inner thigh here. Now keep your leg up and bring your right hand down. You can drop your right hip a little bit here, but keep your leg high and then twist open to the left side. Have a normal steady breath. Good, now return gently to the warrior two position. Come to the center and then go back to the other side. Bend your right knee and bring your elbow to your knee. Reach your left arm up. This is side angle posture. If you're more flexible, you can put your right hand on the floor or use a block under your hand and reach over your ear. Stretching the entire left side of your body. If you like, let your head hang so that you can even stretch the left side of your neck. Be very careful to keep the outer edge of your left foot pressing flat to the floor. Do not lift your heel. Release, come up, and we'll do the other side. Turn your left toes out and right toes in, bend your left knee. You can place your left elbow on your knee or slide your hand to the floor and reach your arm, right arm, over your ear. Now you're stretching the whole right side of your body in one straight line. You can let your head hang if you want to stretch the right side of your neck, completing the stretch of the gallbladder meridian. Make sure you breathe normally. Release. Come up. And one more time, we'll go back to the other side. Turn your right toes out and left toes in. Make sure that your feet are not crossed over here. Bend your right knee and then twist to the right. You can lift your left heel to twist, but then try to bring your left heel back down to the floor. Keep lengthening your spine. If this is too difficult of a twist, then bring your left hand down and reach your right arm over your ear. Keep twisting the entire body in one long spiral from your back foot through the crown of your head. Come up, release. We're going to do the other side. Turn your left toes out, right toes in. And face your hips to the left side. Bend your left knee. Get a twist to the left. If you need to pick up your heel, go ahead. And then twist. Once you've come into your full twist, bring the heel back down. Keep twisting around. Make sure you exhale all the way, releasing the diaphragm to twist even deeper. Alternatively, you can bring your right hand down. Stretch your left arm over your ear. Spiral twisting the entire body. These twists activate and release the gallbladder meridian and the liver meridian. Now 
our release. Come on. Turn your toes slightly inward in a wide stance. Place your hands on your hips. Going to fold forward only halfway. As you fold forward, come down with a flat back so that your sit bones are spreading apart and your tailbone lifting. Then begin to bend your knees and release all the way down. You can grab the back of your heels and pull your head towards the floor to begin with. If you're very flexible, straighten your legs. We'll use the liver meridian and some points on the liver to go a little bit deeper. There's a nice point on the top of the foot here in between the first and second long bone. If you press here, as you pull your head towards the floor, you should feel a release in the inner thighs. When you stimulate them with the acupressure points, you want to press firmly. Continue to move the breath and relax and release the inner thigh muscles. Good. Now bring your hands to your hips and come all the way up with the flat back. Come to face the front of your mat again. Hold forward and step back into a downward facing dog. Step your left foot forward. Place both hands on the inside of your left foot. Bring your right elbow to the floor and then your left if possible. If this is not possible, you can keep your left elbow up. If you're more flexible, you can bring your right knee down and slide it back, and then put your shoulder under your knee. Release your head to the floor. Wherever you are in this posture, try to relax. Relax the right side as well as the left. Now we're going to move a little bit deeper into the pigeon pose, the pigeon fold. Walk your left foot over to the right side and then bring your knee down. If you're less flexible, you need to keep your heel in closer to your hip. If you're more flexible, you can bring your shin parallel to the front of the mat, but make sure that your hips are staying level with the mat. Once you find your comfortable position, you can start to fold forward. Ideally, you can relax your head all the way to the floor. If this is impossible, you can use a block under your forehead. Now, stay in the pose and mainly work on releasing the outside of the left hip. Concentrate on relaxing the left hip. And begin to see the entire left side of the body, the left gallbladder meridian. Relax the left jaw, the left eye and ear. Moving down the side of the body, Relax the left side of your neck, the left side of your rib cage, waist, hip, and thigh. Just for a few more breaths, concentrate on extending the exhale to release any remaining tension in the solar plexus. Now release. 
steps directly back into downward facing dog. Step your right foot forward and bring your hands to the inside. Left elbow down and if possible, the right elbow as well. Relax your neck. If you're more flexible, slide your left knee back on the floor and place your shoulder under your knee, forehead to the floor. Relax your whole body, left and right sides. Watch the breath. Now, move into the pigeon fold. Walk your right foot over to the left side. Remember, if you're more flexible, you can bring your shin out parallel to the front of the mat. Otherwise, keep your heel close. You want to have your hips level. Not like this. Find your position and fold forward. Release your head down all the way. And then begin to relax the outside of the right hip. Concentrate there. Now begin to see the entire gallbladder meridian on the right side. The whole side of the body. The right jaw the right eye and ear. Relax. The right side of your neck, the right rib cage and waist. The right side of your hip and thigh. Relax the right side completely. Practice the breath. By lengthening the exhale, you can further release tension in the diaphragm and solar plexus. This will help release any tension in the sides of the body. Downward facing dog. Come forward into plank position. On your right hand now, side plank. Just strengthening the side of the body now. Flex your feet and make your body in a straight line. Now take your left foot behind you and push your hips up, contracting the right side of your body and stretching the left side. Breathing normal. Now return to plank. Go to the left side. Side plank. Flex your feet. Strengthening the left side. And then bring your foot, right foot to the floor behind you. Push your hips up high. Contracting the right, the left side, and stretching the right side of the body. Now return to plank. Push back into downward facing dog, and step or jump forward. Now come to a standing position. Next, we'll work on some standing balancing postures. Stand on your right leg. Bring your left foot into half lotus. Your heel comes up high and then release your knee down. If this is difficult or creates pain in your knee, then you can cross your ankle lower above your knee. We're opening the inner thigh and the outer thigh here at the same time. If 
possible, bring your heel higher up. As you stay in this posture, begin to lift and squeeze the pelvic floor, dropping the tailbone. Allow your left knee to start to descend towards the right knee. Bring your right hand to your hip and raise your left arm up. Stretch your left arm up, away from your left knee. Again, lengthening the side of the body, the side of your left hand. Stretch up and then bend a little bit to the right side. Imagine you can extend your left knee down as you reach up and away from your left knee. Keep breathing. Now release your arm down. And gently release your leg. Let's do the other side. Pick up your right foot. And if possible, Bring your foot into the half lotus position. In half lotus, your knee, your heel is higher up and your knee starts to descend down. You can always cross your foot over your knee like this also. Don't create any strain in your knee. If you're in half lotus, bring some awareness into the pelvic floor. Start to lift and squeeze the pelvic floor, dropping the tailbone down. At the same time, opening the outside of your right hip. Your right knee will descend towards the left knee. Bring your left hand to your hip and reach your right arm straight up. Imagine you can reach up away from your right knee lengthening the whole right side of the body. And if possible, lean just a little bit over to the left side, stretching up and away from your right knee and reaching your knee further towards the floor. Together, we'll do the eagle pose and move right into the flag pose. Raise your arms over your head and then swing your right elbow under your left elbow. Continue wrapping your arms around and if possible bring your palms together. Now bend your knees, sitting down like in a chair. Then bring your right knee on top of the left and if possible wrap your foot behind your ankle. Squeeze everything together just for a few seconds. Focus and breathe. Now stay balancing on your left foot and hold inside your right ankle. Extend your right leg straight. You can keep your right knee bent as long as your left leg is straight. Continue to open as much as possible. Side, raise your arms, swing the left elbow under the right, and bend your knees, sit down like in a chair. Your feet are together. Cross your left knee over the right, and if possible, hook your foot behind your ankle. Just for a few seconds, squeeze everything together, focus, and breathe. Now stay balancing on your right foot. See if you can hold your left ankle here. Right knee straight as much as possible. Straighten your left knee. You can stay here or straighten all the way. And gently release. 
going to sit on the floor. Next, we'll do a spinal twist. The twisting postures help lengthen the sides of the body as well as stimulating and releasing the solar plexus. Cross your left, your right foot over your left knee. In this case, pull your knee as far as possible across your chest, but keep your right sit bone on the floor. So you can hug your knee like this, or if you're more flexible, bring your elbow to the outside of your knee and hold your left knee. Sit up tall and look over your right shoulder. Close your eyes and breathe. Begin to visualize the entire right side of the body, the gallbladder meridian, running from the fourth toe on your right foot, up the outside of your ankle, the outside of your knee, the outside of your hip, lengthening, the right side of your waist, the right side of your rib cage all the way up the right side of your neck to the outer corner of your right eyebrow. Turn your eyes to the right so you can see as far as possible to the right side. Keep lengthening the entire right side of the body and breathe. Make sure that as you inhale, you feel the extension of the spine. And as you exhale, Feel the solar plexus twist and release even deeper. Now release the pose. Switch your leg. Cross your left foot over the right knee. Pull your knee across, but keep the left sit bone down. If possible, you can bring your elbow to the outside of your knee and then hold your right knee, or just hug your knee. Sit up tall and twist to the left. Keep lengthening your spine and breathing. Now begin visualizing the entire left side of the body length. From the left foot, the fourth toe, up the side of the ankle, side of the knee, side of the hip, the left side of the waist, lengthening, the left side of the rib cage, the left side of the neck, all the way to the outer corner of the left eyebrow. Turn your gaze to the left so you can see far to the left. Make sure the breath is complete, inhaling to lengthen, exhaling to release the solar plexus, twisting and squeezing it out even deeper. Now release. Next we'll do the seated side bend. Extend your right leg and bring your left foot to your inner thigh. Gonna keep the left sit bone on the floor. Reach your left arm straight up and bring your right elbow to your knee. Now bend over to the side. If you're more flexible, you can bring your right elbow to the floor, but make sure that you keep your left sit bone down. Reach back with your left hand and push it to the floor. Now release your neck and breathe. As long as your sit bone is on the floor, reach your arm over your ear. Now come up and switch your legs. Place your right foot on your left thigh. Keep your right sit bone down and bring your left elbow to your knee or to the floor. Reach your right arm straight up and over. Release your neck. 
bring your hand down and make sure that your right sit bone is still on the floor. This way we can access the entire side of the body, especially the places here that tend to be more stuck. If possible, reach your arm back over your ear and continue to breathe. posture is Baddha Konasana. In this pose, if you're less flexible, you might want to sit on a block. So you can feel more of an opening in your inner thighs. If possible, just sit on the floor. Even if your knees are up like this, it's okay. Push your sacrum forward. Now open your feet up like a book and work on pressing along the liver meridian. You can press along these tender points on the inner shin bones. These help to release the entire pathway. That's the beauty of the meridian system, is that we can release the entire pathway just by working on these very powerful points. If you're comfortable here and you want to go further, then you can start to fold forward and bring your chest towards the soles of your feet. Extend your legs straight, bring your hands behind you, and just for a few seconds, lift your seat. main pose of this sequence is Gomukhasana. You're going to cross your right knee over the left. The most important thing is to have your knees stacked vertically. So if you're less flexible, you have to bring your feet in closer and maybe sit on a block. If you're more flexible, you can bring your shins out like this so that they're parallel to the front. Make sure both sit bones are on the floor. With your right knee on top, bring your right hand out to the side. Reach your left arm straight up. As you press your left sit bone down, reach your left arm up, again lengthening the side of the body. And then you can lean over, but keep your left sit bone down. Maybe your right elbow can come to the floor. Relax your neck and breathe. Keep pushing your left sit bone back to the floor and reach your left arm away. Now reach up. And we're going to fold forward. If you feel that you can go further into the posture, walk your hands forward and hook your chin over your top knee. Release your head down. Now you can begin to feel a deep stretch, hopefully on the outside of the hip here. Stay in the pose. Stay still. Close your eyes and concentrate. These points in the deep outer hip are the places where most of the energy can hide and be stagnant. Often when these points are tight, you can feel um, a stress-related fatigue. This is simply because the energy is blocked. Once you release the hips, you will feel much better. 
watch what emotions arise as you fold forward in this posture. When the energy is impeded, it often turns into a sense of frustration or anger. And as the tension is released, these emotions can come to the surface. Just continue to breathe for a few more minutes. Relaxing as much as possible. The sides of the hips, the sides of the whole body. And release. Switch your legs. We're going to bend to the side again first. So with your left knee on top, bring your left hand to the floor. And reach your right arm straight up. Just push your right sit bone down and reach your right arm up. Then begin to lean over to the left side. If possible, left elbow to the floor. But keep your left sit, your right sit bone glued to the floor. Wherever you are, relax your neck and release the right side of your neck. Continue to breathe. Fold forward. Walk your hands forward and hook your knee, your chin over your knee here. Relax your neck and your whole body. This side should be a little bit easier. Keep focusing to release tension in the outer hips. Watch as the emotions arise and let the breath continue to flow evenly, especially lengthening the exhale to release tension in the solar plexus. This is the home of the liver organ. For a few moments, stay here and relax as much as possible. Release. Lie down, flat on your back. We'll do a few counter poses before we finish. Bring your feet flat to the floor and hold your ankles for the bridge pose. Squeeze your butt and lift your seat high. This is just a counter pose. Your seat up. Keep your knees closer together. And begin to expand your chest towards your chin. Keep breathing normal. Now slowly release, rolling down your spine. Extend your legs straight. Palms down, place your wrists under your seat, push your elbows down, and come onto the top of your head. Open your chest to the room. Now push your elbows down, tuck your chin, and lie down flat on your back. Release your hands. Now relax in Shavasana. Stay in Shavasana. As I guide
guide you through a short relaxation. Relax your entire body. With every exhale, allow the body to become heavier, sinking down into the floor. Now, begin to visualize the sides of the body. See the energy moving freely through the left and right sides, all the way from the sides of your feet and ankles, up the sides of your knees, the outsides of your hips, your waist, the sides of your ribs, the sides of your neck, the sides of your head, jaw, eyes, and ears. Relax. Now focus on the liver organ on the right side. liver and gallbladder are tucked under the right side of the rib cage. Feel all tension releasing from the liver and gallbladder on the right side. The body heals naturally as it, allow, it is allowed to Stay in Shavasana, resting as long as you like. May all beings everywhere benefit from this practice through us. Thank you for joining me today.